Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new. And today we are going to do a couple of really fun things. I am going to spruce up my kitchen for spring, do a little spring decorating with me. I also am going to go out onto my front porch and spruce up my front porch for spring as well, do a little front porch spring decorating with me. And then we are gonna do sourdough pizza for dinner and I will share that sourdough pizza crust recipe with you. Let's go ahead and get started with our spring decorating. I wanted to freshen up my sink space. The packaging for my dish soap and my hand soap, it didn't match and I didn't love the look of it. But then I remembered that I had these matching bottles in my laundry room. And so I filled one of them with dish soap and then I made a hand soap with unscented Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. It's super easy to do. All you do is fill one fourth of the bottle with the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. Add whatever essential oils you prefer. I'm using lavender today because I felt that was springy. Then fill the rest of the bottle with water and that's all you need. This also works in foaming soap dispenser bottles as well. So super easy and cost effective to make it yourself. First of all, I want to say thank you to Aura for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I wanted to share with you a Mother's Day gift idea since Mother's Day is coming up. This is my Aura frame. We have loved this this past year. We actually gave one to my grandma for Christmas and it's a digital picture frame that allows you and family members or friends to upload pictures from wherever you are, video two, to a specific frame. I know for our family, we have family members scattered all over the country that we don't get to see as often as we would like to. And also our family members have little kids that we just miss and we feel like we're missing out on those special memories. But because of our Aura frames, we have been able to stay connected with them as best as we can. And it's just been a really special thing for our family. These Aura frames are actually really popular. They have been recommended on over 130 gift guides and they were selected as one of Oprah's favorite things three years running. Like I said, they're really popular and they sell out fast all of the time. They're really popular for holidays like Valentine's Day, Christmas, Mother's Day coming up. They'll probably sell out. So if you wanna get one, you should get one ASAP, and I'll share a discount card with you that you can use in just a second. Aura has thought of everything, and the frame comes in a beautiful gift box, so you don't even have to wrap it if you don't want to. It's really easy to set up, which is especially important if you're giving it to somebody like your grandma. You can go ahead and preload photos to it, and you can invite family members to preload photos to it as well. So when you've given the frame to your family member, then all they have to do is take it out of the box and set it up. It takes no more than two minutes and they'll already be able to appreciate those cherished pictures and memories. There is free unlimited storage of both photos and videos, which is really important. There's nothing worse than when one of your devices announces you are out of storage and you have to scramble to figure out how to deal with that. You don't have to worry about any of that with our, an Aura frame. Aura has given me a discount code for my subscribers. You can get $40 off of an Aura frame while supplies last by using the code Allie. Click the link in the description box below and then plug in that code Allie and you will get $40 off of your Aura frame while supplies last. I think one really easy and beautiful way to decorate your house for spring is with fresh flowers. Trader Joe's is a great place to get them because they have lots to choose from and they are very affordable there. We don't have a Trader Joe's nearby, otherwise I would have fresh flowers in my house all of the time. Another thing that I did in our dining room 
was set out these plates that came from Andrew's grandmother and I am setting out some herbs that me and my children planted. I plan on having fresh herbs in our house at all times to cook with and they also double as decoration. I think it's beautiful. Moving out to my front porch, I am so excited with this whole project. I wanted some vintage Crocs and I looked at my antique stores and they are so expensive, but I was able to snag this big one for $25 because it had a crack in it. Crocs are such a fun and beautiful thing to plant flowers in. They don't have drainage in the bottom, so you'll need to put gravel in first and then soil and then plant but just water them minimally and you should be fine. I have spring flowers going in today as well as some English ivy and then I plan on planting mums in them in the fall. I also just wanted to spruce up this front porch area, add some pillows to these plastic Adirondack chairs. One day maybe I would like to get a iron bench, but for now this is what I already had and it just needed a little freshening up for spring and I love how it turned out. One thing that I really want to work on in myself is being content with the things that I have and not always needing to seek out buying new things or having the latest and the greatest. I want to utilize what I have and also repurpose vintage and things that have once been loved and could still be loved again by someone else. So for dinner tonight, we are going to have sourdough pizza and the recipe for the crust could not be easier. However, it does require you to think ahead a little bit. I plan on sharing my full pizza crust recipe with you soon, possibly even in a YouTube video, but for now I'm gonna share it with you just snippets. So the night before I plan on having pizza for dinner, I make my crust, you mix all the ingredients together and let it sit on the counter overnight to ferment. In the morning, you will do one series of stretch and folds. That's exactly what I'm doing here and then you place it in the refrigerator until you're ready to make dinner that night. I'm also making my own pizza sauce. It's so easy to do. I love the flavor of it. It's tangy, and I also love that I know exactly what ingredients are added to it, and I can kind of customize it to our preferences and our tastes. There's definitely a time and a place for buying jarred pizza sauce, but when I can make it myself, it's just, it's so much better. And I don't know about you, but to me, cooking is therapy. Making food from scratch with my own two hands causes me to slow down and just connect and kind of get grounded. And I also love that I am making food for my family to nourish their bodies. And it's gonna be memories that my kids will grow up and remember that mom made them pizza sauce from scratch.
Now I am using jarred pesto. I am going to be planting a bunch of herbs this spring and so hopefully I will be able to make lots of my own homemade pesto. And then on this pizza I'm also adding mushrooms and cherry tomatoes and you must shred your own mozzarella. It's so much better and melts just so much smoother when you shred it versus buying the shredded kind. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed this spring decorate with me as well as just a little glimpse into some homemaking and that sourdough pizza crust recipe. If you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you did that. You can also follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.